Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my unboxing of my LT book crate for July. The theme for this month was Anxiety Sucks. Now, if you're not familiar with Health Tea Book Crate, they are a bi-monthly, every other month book subscription. Um, the price is higher than some of my other subscriptions. It is $58, um, but all of the items that come with your book are artisan, women-owned shops, and I have looked up the prices and in some cases even bought stuff that I've received before. So you are getting your value in the box, um, but it is definitely looking at smaller woman-owned shops so the and the prices are higher than maybe you could get stuff definitely like on Amazon or something like that. Um, so I will of course have a link below to Health Tea Book Crate. The other good thing to know about them is they do announce the book selection ahead of time. So I like that because I have so many book subscriptions. It helps me kind of try to ensure I don't get too many duplications <laughs> throughout the year. Um, the design of the boxes I and are so soothing, you guys. And if you follow them on Instagram, I find their visuals to be so incredibly just pleasing, very aesthetically calming, very subdued. I, I just really like their Instagram page. Okay, so looking ahead, we can see we've got a couple of items. This is how the packaging comes with the book down inside. Let's hear a little bit about the box. So most of us have all experienced anxiety, especially with the last year we had. I have firsthand experience dealing with anxiety throughout my life. Austin's debut novel made me laugh, cry, and feel seen. I felt a kinship with her main character, Gilda, as she navigates even the smallest parts of her life, like washing her hair or cleaning the dishes. I hope this box helps ease some of the daily anxiety we all feel, and I hope this book helps increase your understanding on mental health issues. We can all learn and grow from one another. So I am definitely excited to read this particular book, which I will share with you here in a moment. So let's get into the first item that we have. Uh, ooh, it looks like a spray. I got, and it's well protected. <laughs> I can't even, my hands today, I'm gonna have to bust out the scissors. Like there's zero strength. <laughs> They're like, it's Thursday, we're just, no, we're done. There's nothing. Guys, quit on me. It's, <laughs> I feel very, very powerless and wimpy right now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, relaxing um, pillow mist in clary, sage, chamomile, lavender, geranium, and witch hazel by Solistic Root. It is two fluid ounces. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So you guys can get a clear read on the, I don't think it's focusing for you guys. There we go. Okay, so there are the ingredients. So let's hear a little bit about this um, vendor. So this one is going to be this relaxing. So this is from Solistic Root, which is out of Colorado. This relaxing pillow mist uses a blend of pure essential oils that relax the mind and body. The combination of clary sage, chamomile, geranium, and lavender creates the perfect aroma for ultimate relaxation. Spray on your pillow before bed, before meditation, and throughout the day to calm your mind. That sounds so good. I'm, I am a sucker for scents. I realized, oh, that, okay, that's a favorite. I like that better. I have a pillow mist right now I'm using that I really like, but I like this one better than my current one. That is really nice. Um, I have realized, I don't know if it's from getting boxes and I get all these scented products now, how much having scents, like when I come out of the shower, I'm just like, Phew, I feel amazing. And that is really nice. I will um, put the links below in the description for you guys if you want to check out any of these vendors and I will put the prices of the items. I'll have a link to the book if you just want to purchase the book and of course I think I said already the health tea book crate as well. So if you're interested in knowing more about anything you see in this unboxing, um, check, look out for the links below. Okay, so now we're going to get the, I'm guessing this is the Uplift Roller, also by so Solistic Root in Colorado. Solistic Root brings to us her all-natural, let me just cut this first, 
again, hands are not functional today. Her uplift roller, um, non-toxic, all natural, non-toxic, cruelty free and environmentally friendly goods. So here is that. If I can get it to actually focus. I'm gonna have to stop wasting time trying to show you guys this stuff because my camera does not cooperate. Okay, so this one, um, her uplift roller is a blend of orange, rosemary, grapefruit, and bergamot, pure essential oils. This blend infused with rose quartz will enhance your general mood and spirits. Oh, that is really light. I was expecting, I always get wary when I hear rose because I'm not a huge like, ooh, the center rose is, but I barely, I smell the orange, I smell the citrus. Oh, that is nice too. I'm gonna check out this shop's page because I'm really impressed so far with the scent blends. Um, and the feel of the oil, like it's already absorbed. It's not like heavy on my skin. Um, okay, then we have a couple packs of tea, turmeric latte mix, excuse me. Okay, so this is from Golden Root, Colorado, right here single serving so i've got three servings here and this is um up upgrade your morning routine energize in the afternoon or relax in the evening this caffeine free beverage is made in small batches in denver colorado using all organic and non-gmo ingredients you know i think that's one of my favorite things i really do like about this box is finding all of these small companies um, okay, so outside of the book and the themes and the Instagram feed, <laughs> that's what I, I like right there. Okay, then I got some eye patches. I love, I'm a huge fan. Ooh, coconut too. I'm a huge fan of eye masks. So this is a coconut under eye gel mask from Beauty Kitchen Nevada. Cruelty free, paraben free, and sulfate free. These gel masks contain natural ingredients to de-puff, tone, and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. The perfect way to start your morning fresh. And you guys can probably see the theme here that the products are like all natural. So again, you're paying, this is definitely for people that that is important. You're, you're willing to pay those price tags um, versus, you know, sprays and stuff that like you can just get from your targets walmarts or amazon where um you may have some other things but you have a, in them chemical wise but you have a lower price tag or big vendors right people that mass produce so very different very different dynamic okay so this is the book everyone in this room will someday be dead <laughs> i forgot about the title i love this title <laughs> by emily austin now if i remember correctly we do always get um, a signed book plate and then ah oh, and we have a fun little note from the author which I will read you guys momentarily so let's hear a little bit about the book first <laughs> I love the title okay oh that's awesome okay so um Gilda a 20 something atheist animal loving lesbian I like her already that's like the best description right up front. Cannot stop ruminating about death. Desperate for relief from her panicky mind and alienated from her repressive family, she responds to a flyer for free therapy at a local Catholic church. Does anyone else think this could be a recipe for disaster? Atheist lesbian therapy from a Catholic church. Okay. And finds herself being greeted by Father Jeff, who assumes she's there for a job interview. Too embarrassed to correct him, Gilda is abruptly hired to replace the recently deceased receptionist, Grace. In between trying to memorize the lines to Catholic Mass, hiding the fact that she has a new girlfriend and erecting a dirty dish tower in her crumbling apartment, Gilda strikes up an email correspondence with Grace's old friend. She can't bear, bear, bear <laughs> to ignore the kindly old woman who has been trying to reach her friend through the church inbox, but she also can't bring herself to break the bad news. Desperate, she begins impersonating Grace via email. Okay, 
if she didn't go into this situation anxious, <laughs> this she has definitely cultivated a situation to make anxiety reign. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. But when the police discover suspicious circumstances surrounding Grace's death, Gilda may have to finally reveal the truth of her mortifying existence. That is awesome. All right, so let's hear it from the author. Um, anxiety really does suck, doesn't it? But look at you. You've subscribed to this beautiful form of self-care. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, while well, supporting a wonderful creative small business. So true. I love, I love, I love, love doing that. And books. I think you are doing amazing. Everyone in this room will someday be dead is not exactly a soothing title. And like you may have been warned in the post promoting this month's crate, the story does deal with some pretty heavy topics like depression and death. The novel is about Gilda, who is 20-something, panic-ridden, atheist, animal-loving lesbian. Gilda cannot stop ruminating about death. Seeking help, she responds to a flyer for a free therapy at a local church, but instead finds herself stumbling into a job there as a receptionist. She becomes obsessed with the predecessor, her predecessor's mysterious death and trips further into her own anxious mind. Like many depressed and anxious people, I hope you find Gilda is also a little bit funny. I have an anxiety disorder and struggles with depression. And you know what, guys? I'm going to, I don't normally talk a ton about this, but same, same here. So I appreciate the nuances, right, that come with that experience and the challenges. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I am really looking forward to this book. And I hope that if you have similar struggles, you will feel somewhat seen in this book. If you don't struggle with anxiety or depression, I hope that maybe this book might help you better understand what it feels like to. Please enjoy your tea or coffee. And thank you so much, really, for reading. My very best, Emily Austin. Okay, so that is a health tea book crate. Again, I will put in, it is an affiliate link. I get like a cent or something, but I appreciate it. I always get excited when people use it. I'm like, oh, somebody wanted the book I shared. I don't know, it's so funny. But anyway, I will have that below. Of course, I'll have a link to health tea book crate. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a coupon code or uh, if I do, it'll be below. And then I will look up each of these products and have links below directly to them if you're interested in purchasing them. Um, if you are a fan of all natural scented products, I these scents for me were really, really nice and I am looking forward to trying the other products. So that is it. Thank you for watching as always and let's go read some books. Happy reading.